we need thick yarn and 8 millimeter hook now make a knot get a yarn pull in pull and chain 45 one two three four five 44 and 45 so let's put that in the inches that is 19 inches so now you're going to make a chain 3 1 2 3 so in the fourth chain from the hook you're going to make a double crochet so insert your hook Grab a yarn and in the fourth stitch from the hook, one, two, three, and four. Insert your hook in the fourth chain from the hook. Grab a yarn, three loops in the hook. Grab a yarn, pull through two loops. One, two. Grab a yarn, pull through two loops. That's our second double crochet. One, two including chain three so this is basically just the same process in the cow we just made so now one double crochet per stitches all the way down total of 46 double crochet Forty-six double crochet in total and we're done with our round two so round three we're going to make chain three one two and three turn your work around and you're going to make one double crochet in the back loop only front loop back loop grab a yarn three loops in the hook grab a yarn pull through two loops grab a yarn pull through the rest of the loops in the hook repeat the pattern in the next stitch make grab a yarn insert your hook in the back loop only three loops in the hook pull through two loops grab a yarn pull through two loops you're going to repeat that total of 41 a uh, 46 double crochet in the back loop only So I am in my last stitch, make one double crochet in the last stitch, in the back loop only, pull through two loops and pull through two loops, total of 46 double crochet and one double crochet per stitches in the back loop only, total of 46 double crochet. So now begin the round 4. Round four, just repeat. Round three, chain three, one, two, three. So make a one double crochet in the first stitch in the back loop only. Just like what we did in the round three. And one double crochet in the next stitch in the back loop only. And repeat that all the way down and chain three to begin row five you're going to repeat this until that until you reach row six okay i'll meet you
with you once I'm done. So we are in last stitch of row 6. I'm going to make one double crochet in the back loop only. So let's count the row 1, which is our chain of 36, 45. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So to begin round 7, you're going to chain 3, 1, 2, and 3. Turn your work around. So after chaining 3, you're going to make a cluster. To begin, you're going to skip the first stitch you find and begin in the second stitch in the back loop only. Make a cluster which is 2 stitch you're going to make into 1 stitch. Insert your hook in the back loop, grab a yarn, 3 loops in the hook, grab a yarn, pull through 2 loops. Now you have 2 loops in the hook, grab a yarn, and in the next stitch, in the back loop only, you're going to insert your hook. So grab a yarn, 4 loops in the hook, grab a yarn, pull through 2 loops, 3 loops in the hook, grab a yarn, pull through all the loops. And now we have one cluster, 2 loops into 1 stitch, I mean 2 stitch into 1 stitch. Now make 3 double crochet. In the next stitch, in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. Okay, so that's our pattern. Two loops, two loops in out oh, two stitches into one stitch, one cluster, and three double crochet in the next three stitches in the back loop only. So let's do that again. Grab a yarn, insert your hook in the back loop only. Three loops in the hook, grab a yarn, pull through two loops, grab a yarn, insert your hook in the next stitch, in the back loop only, grab a yarn, four loops in the hook, grab a yarn, pull through two loops, grab a yarn, pull through three loops. And now make three double crochet in the next three stitches. One. three and then you're just going to repeat this pattern one cluster and three double crochet in the next three stitches and you're going to repeat that seven more times one and two so we are in the last pattern make a cluster grab a yarn pull through three loops grab a yarn one double crochet in the next two stitches okay chain three to begin row eight one two three turn your work around okay you're going to skip the first stitch and just begin your cluster in the second stitch in the back loop only get a yarn insert your hook in this next stitch get a yarn four loops in the hook get a yarn pull through two loops Get a yarn, pull through all the loops. 
and three double crochet in the next three stitches one two in the back loop only and three so you will just repeat round seven and you're going to repeat this six more times so we are in the last cluster of our row three double crochet I mean two double crochet in the last stitch chain three to begin round nine one two three turn your work around turn your work around and begin round nine to begin round nine we just have to repeat round seven and eight so skip one stitch and begin in the next stitch to make our cluster get a yarn insert your hook in the next stitch grab a yarn grab a yarn and pull through two loops three loops in the hook grab a yarn pull through three loops and three double crochet in the next three stitches one two and three and you have to repeat this three more times after you have repeat that pattern three times now we're going to do the same make a cluster just making a cluster and the only difference is you have four double crochet in the next four stitches instead of three one two three and four always remember to do it in the back loop only not in the front chain three to begin round ten skip the first stitch and in the second stitch you're going to make back loop only and make a cluster three chain in the three loops in the hook grab a yarn pull through two loops grab a yarn insert your hook in the next stitch grab a yarn four loops in the hook grab a yarn pull through two loops grab a yarn pull through three loops just repeat round seven so grab a yarn make double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch so we just keep repeating what we did in row seven and we are going to do this three more times in round ten so this is how it look like and let's count the rows to make sure one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten rows including with this one in the chain we have started so a total of 10 rows we're like, going to fold this so you're going to fold it like this and take out your hook in this one and grab the other part and on top of the double crochet just here your first your last chain so insert your hook in that loop in the other side insert your hook there grab it in chain one pull tight so in this first double crochet here we're going to make a single crochet all the way down to, con to close this one and what we do is make a single crochet we will put two single crochet in this double crochet 
in every double crochet so insert your hook in this first double crochet and in the other side insert your hook also grab a yarn grab a yarn and pull through two loops and that is our first single crochet do again make another one in the same double crochet insert your hook and in the other one insert your hook grab a yarn and grab a yarn pull through two loops and now we have two single crochet in this double crochet and after that in this next stitch we're going to make another single crochet right there insert your hook and as well as in the other side it has to be the same insert your hook right there grab a yarn and make a single crochet so we're just going to repeat that all the way down So in every two do in every double crochet you're going to make two single crochet and then one single crochet in the middle of this double crochet and in the middle of this which is here and in the other side as well to make it even. Continue the pattern. two and next one in the bottom one two and in the middle the next double crochet put two single crochet and then in the middle next double crochet put two single crochet in the next double crochet i mean single crochet two double crochet and put another single crochet in the same spot chain one pull tight and finally cut the yarn okay good so what we do here going to grab a smaller hook so insert your hook somewhere anywhere I prefer to put it here to hide this one and make a knot one two three knots and just hide it here somewhere again pull it in make a chain one and then make a knot again it's really secure now not twice and then just cut the yarn and it's finished in this part and this is how it look like and let's see in the other side and this is how it look like on the other side it's perfect okay so we are not really done because we have this small thing on the top so what we do there is we grab this yarn so what we do here we're going to close this part right here and so insert your hook just 
I would say we're the first single crochet through your toe, insert toe hook right there, and then the other side also, and make a knot, or you can make a knot like before or after inserting the hook. So grab it, chain one. So after chaining one, grab it, pull tight, and just cut the yarn like this about like this. Just enough to close this part. So cut, pull, and now we're going to make insert your hook in the second stitch and as well as on the other side grab this yarn and to the and do this in every stitches just to close this three four five say six times or I will add another one here it's totally up to you and then after that you're just going to grab it pull and as you can see this is the leftover of the knot we make so just make a knot here one two Pull tight just do this a few times and then likewise I'm gonna grab my small hook to easily grab this existing yarn and then I just make a stitches to hide this or to secure this stitch right here I'm going to do this here. Perfect. I just cut the rest. As well as this one. And this is how it looks like from the outside. And inside. And the finished product is right here.